Hi, my name is Officer Hernandez, and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. Do you have to wait a long time for this interview? Okay, great. How did you get here today? Okay. We're gonna begin with an oath. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Can I see your appointment letter? Thank you. Can you show me your permanent resident card, your passport, and a valid ID? Just show them to me. Thank you. Do you fill up this application by yourself? Okay. Would you like to update any information in your application today? What is your complete name? Have you used any other names in the past? Are you going to change your name? What is your current address? Okay, and what was your previous address? Hmm, I see it here. Okay. What is your full social security number? Mm -hmm. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? What is your date of birth? And what is your country of origin? Okay. Are you married? How many times have you been married? Were you married back in your country of origin? Do you have children? How many children do you have? And what is your relationship with your children? Do you have any children living in your country of origin? Okay. How did you become a permanent resident? And when did you become a permanent resident? Are your parents U.S. citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? What do you do for work? What is the name of your employer? How long have you been employed there? Mm -hmm. 
When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? And where do you travel to? How long was this trip for? In the last five years, how many trips have you taken out of the United States? In the last five years, how many total days have you spent outside of the United States? Okay. Why do you want to become a United States citizen? That was a great answer. Please uh, allow me a moment. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta. Ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Ok. Now we're going to continue with the civic test. I'm going to ask you 10 questions you have to answer correct, at least six of them, to approve this portion of the interview. Ok. First question, what ocean is on the east coast of the United States? How many amendments does the Constitution have? We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? What does the President's cabinet do? There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Why did the colonists fight the British? What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Name one state that borders Canada. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? How many U.S. senators are there? Great, I can see you study. You did fantastic. Now let's do the reading and writing test. Can you please read the following sentence? Now can you please write the following sentence? California has the most people. California has the most people. California has the most people. You did also great. Congratulations, you approved this portion of the interview as well. Now I'm just going to do general questions, answer yes or no. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Uh, do you now have or do you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or being confined into a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? 
Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Okay. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associate either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? Any other totalitarian party? A terrorist organization? Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, the you worked for or associated in any way, either directly or indirectly with the Nazi government of Germany. Okay, I'm going to give you a group of questions. Just answer yes or no when I'm finished with all of them, okay? Were you ever involved in any way with any other following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. No to all of them, okay? Were you ever a member of or that you ever served in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? I'm going to give you a list of groups and you just answer at the end yes or no. Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilant unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. No? Correct. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any other following? Again, it's a group of questions. Prisoner jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or support people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted, and committed while attempting, committed in a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? This includes immigration officers. Okay. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisted in committing in a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an attorney in sentencing or rehabilitated program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed in probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Again, I'm going to give you a group of questions. Have you ever been a habitual drunker, been a prostitute, or procured anyone for prostitution, sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time, marry someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit, help anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally, gamble illegally or receive income from illegal gambling, fail to support your dependents or to pay alimony, made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? 
Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18 and 26th birthday? Okay. Uh, do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance of the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay, congratulations, you have approved your citizenship interview. Muy bien, no olvides comentar cómo te fue con esta práctica y recuerda que si te gustaría estar lo mejor preparado posible, visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com y adquiere nuestro curso ya.